Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review A Storm Foretold. This is a new documentary from filmmaker Christopher Gold Branson, who follows Roger Stone, one of the most significant figures with Donald Trump, and his journey through the end of Trump's presidency and his specific dealings in trying to drum up Stop the Steel movement and leading up to the insurrection on January 6th. And what's so fascinating about this film is that Stone lets somebody actually make this film. This is behind the curtain. This is pulling the drapes back and showing the inner workings of this whole entire conspiracy, this whole entire lie machine, this whole entire mechanism that helped create this cult around Donald Trump and the 2020 election. And Roger Stone is completely himself. You see him in his rawest version, literally saying some of the most horrible things that I've heard somebody say about other human beings, him threatening people's lives, and going completely unhinged, all while Gilbranson is there with a camera documenting all of this. And I think it's his ego that just imagined, like, we're doing something so, so important, and all the things that I say are so important. Like, just the casual language of death to liberals and death to Democrats is really disturbing. And all the hypocrisy is on full display here in terms of, like, we don't condone violence, but all of them should be dead. And they're the ones who hate us, and they're the ones who want violence against us, but they all should be dead. And just the insane rhetoric that Stone lives by is all on display here through his own trial for his involvement with Russia conspiring and getting involved in the 2016 election, to him leading the charge and being one of the big political strategists of making this movement stop the steal before the election even happened, creating this false narrative that the election was fraudulent before it even happened just so that they could find every single way to make sure that Trump's followers knew that this was not a legitimate election, despite the fact that there's zero, zero evidence that this was actually fraudulent. And just how Goldbranson is able to capture the inner workings of this fraud, this attack on American democracy. Like, I was getting really upset watching this film, and just to, like, I'm a libertarian. I generally believe I don't want the government involved in most things, and this film captured the hypocrisy, the toxicity, and just the evil that is what a lot of the right of this country has become hating America, hating democracy, and refusing to admit when they lose, because if they lose, it automatically has to be a fraud, and that all came from Stone, and his workings, his conspiring, his twisting the knife, his just warping of reality, and this film is so fascinating in capturing how one man and one movement can completely warp the minds of so many people to push them to violence. And it's true, they were pushing for violence. This film shows it. There's so much blatant evidence. But what's so fascinating is Stone as a figure to watch is that he is so convinced that everything in his head is correct and the worldview that he has is correct. He doesn't care about America. He doesn't care about the Constitution. He doesn't care about any of those things. He just wants to warp the world the way that he wants it and how Trump wants it. And this film is able to capture how that's accomplished. And it's terif terrifying. This film, sitting through watching this, was absolutely terrifying. Because you just see all the worst fears of how a democracy can be destroyed on display and how regular people 
can be so easily manipulated and how people who are downtrodden and feeling dejected by society can be radicalized and how you can warp even the most nonsensical things like saying Antifa or a bunch of fascists when literally Antifa stands for anti-fascism, calling people fascists and communists at the same time, and just absolutely no logic, but how you say it and what you can do to influence people. And that is so fascinating about this film. And you see it. Gobranson has it all on display. This is Roger Stone. This is him as a human being acting how he's going to act, and you see his process, you see what he does, and it's absolutely frightening. And this documentary hits like a sledgehammer. And, like, as somebody who isn't all hyped up on these conspiracies, these outlandish uh, warping of reality that so many people have been entrenched in since Trump has become pre had become president... This film captures how that was done, how people were pushed to do this insurrection, and just how dangerous somebody like Roger Stone can be, even by the end when he's lashing out at Trump because he didn't pardon him. It's disturbing. And this film is something else. And it is a must-watch. Obviously, if people are really entrenched, I would really hope that this would open eyes for people. But I feel like those who believe in these conspiracies, these lies, would just be reinforced by watching Roger Stone do his thing on screen. So this is such a fascinating film. And honestly, just scares me in terms of the future of America. And boy, can a film really affect you, can it? But those are my thoughts on A Storm f Foretold. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.